Here we are, we have arrived at the motorist for the first, world's first even, world's first. Smashing the Pistons, the inaugural Smashing Pistons meetup. And uh, obviously, Henrietta's turned up. And Hope and Glor, no, just Hope, isn't it? Yes. Hope's turned up. And uh, the black MGB GT with no name has turned up. What's happened to his grill? Here he is, closing his, closing his sunroof. Did you enjoy that trip in? <laughs> what? Did you enjoy that ride in? Apart from Pontefract, yes. Did you go it wrong way? No, Pontefract took me wrong way. Oh. Here we are at the motorist, like I've already said. I don't know why I've got sunglasses on, I can't see anything. Um, and there's, there's quite, a, quite a bit of cars turned up. It's a nice Ford car. Sports car, no less. Little Xenons and stuff. But we'll have a, a proper walk around in a bit. Here we go. We'll have a proper walk around in a bit. Because at the moment we've only just got here, so there we go. We'll have a walk around and see what there is. You can open it. Now step one step back and see if you can close it. Now I'm gonna have to walk over here as a kid. Oh impressive. <laughs> One of the first picks of the day is is a, 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 metro, a Mini. I think it's a turbo though, that one, not a supercharger one. Because it had lights on it, I think. And them Suzuki Swifts, they do like a semi-quick one of them, which is unexpected. Still like machine guns on from... They do look like, they do look like Gatling guns, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's that Swift's got mini wheels on it. That's kind of cool. Hmm. Interesting. Just nice, clean, simple Nova. I'm sure that we're here when we came. Um, what was that meeting that we came to? Um, Fear was driving. Fun. I'm sure that we're there then. We seem to really pick the worst spot. <laughs> You get to walk around it properly, don't you? Yeah, exactly. That's nice. Oh, and look, look what colour wheels it's got. Mm. I mean, they're not sparkly like Henny's, so yeah, it's not really kind of. <laughs> we have parked in the worst place. Let's just stand here and wait for him to realise. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure that's not the same model you've been looking at, so though. I'm not telling you. I live close enough to Nottingham if you want it. Just let me know. <laughs> <laughs> I dropped at the end of the drive. <laughs> Bad boy Civic. What about one of these instead? No. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, that's Matt's car. Now then, we were, we were talking about Toyotas the other day, weren't we? We were talking about Toyota's the other day, weren't we? That's nice. Yeah, what do you reckon to them mini things? I can't really tell too much. It's, it's massive. Yeah, it's not a it's mini, is it? Really, no, it's really difficult to object when you sort of stand next to it. Yeah, that's worth, a, that's worth a video on its own. Pink calipers for the win. little thing next to a Tesla. What else we got over there? Some pieces. 
we should have parked over there rather than corner. We made, we definitely made a boo-boo parking in that corner. Yes, we did. Okay, would you rather have that or that Peugeot? Right now, for practical reasons, that Peugeot. Right, ignore practical reasons because that's a two-seater car. You've gone bonkers. Oh yeah. There's some speakers there. That's an MG3 in a colour that I've only ever seen MG6s in, which is kind of cool. Let's have a look at the back. MG3 VTI. I wish they did a fast one. <laughs> Not seen one of these before. They're like your seats, aren't they, Matt? Um, one of your traditional um, boxy Volvo estates here, which I believe are oh, 850. It's a big square car on sporty wheels. How lovely. The thing I like about the motorist, I don't know whether you agree, Matt, who is stood here, uh, is that you end up walking around looking at things like an 850 Volvo estate and not noticing the Aston Martin Vantage that it's parked yeah, to the side of. Sort of every other day there, don't you? Yeah, yeah, but Volvo. Yeah, exactly. What do you think? I think it's good that people can stand looking at the Volvo estate leaning against an Aston Martin Vantage. Exactly, that's my point exactly. Thank you for agreeing. You're welcome. This is a rare treat. A two litre Nissan Bluebird estate. Back when, uh, when cars were designed with rulers. Nice looking thing. No. <laughs> Look at that for a bit of retro, retro carness. Very shiny. You forget how little they were in cars in those days. Look at how small it is compared to that thing. Facelift 45. Yeah, I've got a interior. It's in really good nick, that. Brethren, Look, and it's been uh, atomized. It's got a carbon fibre bonnet on it. It's not, but you've got to feel sorry for it. Clearly, you wanted a Rover Tomcat. 
<laughs> I remember when you could pick these up for next to no, because nobody wanted them. Crazy, isn't it? Mm. And then Fast and the Furious came out and everybody wanted it. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. That's a big in. Would you rather have that or an RCZ? You'd rather have a Land Rover. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't see it because it's camouflaged. What about that Subaru Impreza? Um, ah. Yes, I do like that. I never liked it. Nobody did. Mm. Let's go. Old cars, the dashboards are always more interesting. I think this there's something that's special about this one. It's just little clues like front wheels have got extra camber on it's got sort of like road legal slicks nearly it's a word for start mm. and up GTI lovely some cars now so apparently the next step is to go inside here and try and buy coffee within the same hour as you entered wish us luck I'm about to enter and show you the world of randomness that is the workshop yeah it's not that random is it what's that a BMW a Range Rover a Merc a Fiat Strada uh, it's definitely a Fiat, I would say. And an Alfa Romeo, something or other. Then this is a shop area now, which is a lot bigger than it used to be. So they've got they've got all this detailing stuff here, which is quite good. And all these clothing bits. Is this car at middle? An Alvis. I think they had this before in, in showroom. Motorist caps. Bits and pieces up there. Some stickers. If you want some pink beetles, there's some. Badges, hats, some cars, air yeah, fresheners, some merch, t shirts, totes bags, all sorts of stuff. So the shop bit's definitely a lot bigger than, uh, than it were before. Um, and they've still got the cars that are on on stands and stuff. But yeah, everything now has got like, t-shirts, there's like a big sweets, a sweets truck thing. Loads of things. So we'll, uh, we'll go back outside because we don't want to look at merch all day. Mm. 
that kind of thing never really appealed to me, like Harleys, but that kind of Harley, you know, we all body fairing and stuff. Yeah. Just, I don't know, I, I still wouldn't have one, but I don't hate them. <laughs> oh, I bet you would do if you tried it. Oh, the club mini. They're nice wheels. A pool ball gear lever knob thing as well, which is quite cool. And uh, we're best uh, sunroof thingy. Very nice. Although this is like super nice. Proper built for speed. Them headlights look like sentinels out of Matrix. <laughs> uh, yeah, so on profile at the back, it just goes down and chuck, cuts that bit out. Um, bumpers are square here, they're triangular. What? That's a rarity, isn't it? It is, unless, unless they've copied my idea. <laughs> What's that? It differs in another way from yours because this one's got suspension. Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? This is nice. I like I like the addition to the front. Have you noticed it? Bit of filler. Bit of primer. No, I don't. Not just the badges. Not original. Mm. Come on, Dad. You can do it. You can do it. Look at it's it. And a, it's a little branch, <laughs> because it's <laughs> because the idea because the idea is that they designed it around the Lotus Elan didn't they when they designed the MX-5 they got a Lotus Elan and back engineered it from there to make something modern that handled and felt the same so that's why they've done it miserably. they did not fail miserably bloody Nora They're the ones that are, they're the, the fast ones are the ones you like, aren't they? They're the fast ones, ones Yeah, that, is that a 928? Yeah. And then were the ones that you keep looking at, 924s? 924. Yeah. The middle one is 944. It's got Did you ever play a game called Chase HQ? They used to have to get used to get a call and used to have to go out in your little police car and smash another yeah, that police car were one of them. T T was the race suspension. No, behind it. Probably a mistake. That's quite cool. Clearly is that if you're twenty four. Yes. These have got the nicest <laughs> interior. Really nice, aren't they? You just don't need any more doors. Oh, what? I 
I do like them. Yeah, I could have done another one of my annoying shorts here. He's just gonna, isn't he? Just uh, playing it over a field. On the plate with helicopter over a hat, I'm giving out the views. Very nice. So the inaugural um, <laughs> Smashing Pistons meetup comes to an end with um, three cars in attendance. Some pistons more smashing than others. Some pistons are more smashing than others. Uh, so I'll, I'll end it there and uh, I'll let them two say bye. Bye. You're gonna say bye. What? You're gonna say bye. 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 Bye.